The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission asks the national government to delegate prosecutorial powers on corruption cases to the commission as a new way to deal with corruption. This comes after the appointment of Mr. Renson Mulele Ingonga as the next director of public prosecution, replacing Nurdin Haji, who now heads the National Intelligence Service. Speaking at the Sarova Whitesons in Mombasa County, the ESCC chairman, Bishop David Oginde, said the DPP workload is enormous, hence corruption cases take too long to be had. DPP office really deals with all criminal cases. And the workload, therefore, in that office is just enormous. So when we send our files, it is they are not the only files that they are dealing with. So they have to prioritize according to the kind of work that they have. If that was given to or, or delegated, and that is a possibility, and we would like to uh, discuss that with DPPs, it's not taking over their role. But if that was to be delegated uh, to ESCC, then we can be able to prioritize and forward these cases uh, more expeditiously than it is happening right now. That is the idea behind it. He added that if it delegated the prosecutorial powers, the commission will work towards ensuring corruption cases are dealt with in a shorter span. Corruption cases, especially the big ones, uh, that drag on for 10 years, 15 years, some even 20 years. By that time, these people have already enjoyed the benefit of what they stole. Uh, those who are going into leadership positions have already served their terms and retired. So we are lobbying so that we can get these kinds of cases uh, hard and determined within the shortest time possible, six months at most one year, so that if a person is clean, let them be released to serve the nation. But if they are dirty, let them be removed from where they are to go where they ought to be. The chairman also called upon governors in their respective counties to take a key role in leading the fight against corruption. But the truth is that our county governments are not doing well. And we would like to call upon, especially now that we are a transition government, uh, the governors really need to take a key role in leading the fight against corruption at the devolved units. Reporting for Al Shifa TV from Mombasa County, I'm Nurusud.